So today the new iPhone 5 will be released. Apple is planning on a big event where they're gonna pretty much put it out there. Um, a lot has been spoken about this phone and it's been said that this phone will finally have LTE connectivity which has been a big feature that's been lacking on the iPhone for quite a while now. Um, everybody's pretty hyped about what's about to happen and um, I'm just gonna make a little synthesis, a little kind of a, a roundup of all the things I've heard that are gonna come out on this new device. Uh, so first off, they're expecting a bigger screen, 4 inches. And this s screen is different because it's not like um, like an increase in the width of the screen of the iPhone is just going to be a little longer and the phone will be a little longer as well um, I guess this is because Steve Jobs always said that the iPhone cannot be any wider because then it'll limit the reach of the thumb human thumb so I guess that's why they're keeping the same width they're just increasing the, le the length and um, the screen has to be retina display as we're used to nothing new on that side um, it is being said that this phone will also be a little thinner because they're using a new system and they're eliminating one layer of the screen you know the touch screen has many layers and, as, and they have one that's the, the glass that covers the, the, the touch screen and then they're planning on fusing the the layer the, the the digitizer with the with the glass so that's gonna reduce the thickness of the device considerably which is a great feature you know the iPhone 4 and 4s they are already really slim making it a little thinner it's kind of a big achievement also it is being said a little bit I mean you know the LTE part the phone will run LTE uh, it's being said that there's just going to be one version of the iPhone 4S and um, it'll actually be remarkable because they're saying that even though most phones that have LTE um, have one band for the company that they're going to be used with this iPhone will be global LTE so you're going to have bands for say LT from Sprint Verizon and AT&T in a single phone which is what regularly Apple does they they avoid having different versions of the same device cuz it costs them a little more cuz if you let's say you you make the same phone for all companies you can buy the same part for all of them and you get discounts when you buy uh, in big so as I was saying, um, the new iPhone is expected to have a thinner profile too. And um, at the very end, there's also it's been said that this phone will also include a HD Face M camera, front camera with HD support, which will help a lot with the FaceTime technology. Um, this is a rumor. This is one of the things that is least expected. And um, um, I, I'd say like 60% possibility that they're going to put a FaceTime HD camera. Um, I think that will be kind of a problem with the, with the carriers since they're having problems already for, for allowing FaceTime chats as it is. Imagine HD, that will be an increase in traffic. Also, um, it is being rumored that the iPhone will have a new connector, a 9 pin connector. Current connector is 27 pins. And um, that's a big reduction from 27 pins to 9 pins. Everybody's wondering if that's going to work out okay. Um, that will make current accessories non compatible with the new iPhone. So I expect some, at least, some expenses. After you get this new phone, you'll have to change all your accessories. If you have alarm clocks, if you have radios, stands, 
everything will change with this new phone. Um, also, there will be a new processor, probably an improved dual core, maybe a quad. That is a big maybe. And uh, also, there is a, a ramp, an increase in the RAM memory. It is expected that they will ramp it up to one gigabyte, uh, and that will make it up to par with a lot of devices running Android right now. Also, it is said that the there might be an upgrade on the camera sensor, maybe improved lenses or 8 megapixels, uh, improved flash. Also there will be some changes. It is expected that the headphone connector will be at the bottom part instead of on top as it is now. And uh, pretty much that sums it up. Also there is a new rumor that there will be new headphones, new earphones included with this phone not the regular earphones you're used to this is gonna be called pod phones I think it is that I read before and it will be pretty interesting to see what comes out of this uh, I'm waiting going crazy to have put my hands on this device I hope you guys are feeling the same way uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay I'm counting on you guys thank you very much for watching